Hello and welcome. Welcome to your week ahead reading with me, Intuitive Renee. The cards that I have on the table here in front of us now are to give us our theme for the week ahead. And this particular portion of the reading is for the collective. So this would be applicable to everybody who watches the reading or who watches the video. Um, a little bit later on, we will get into the specifics per sign of the zodiac. But for now, let's get our theme for the week ahead. The decks that I have on the, the table at the moment, these two come from the Word of the Year Oracle by Kristen at Over the Moon Academy. And here we have Secret Garden Oracle. I will show you quickly what the little box looks like. Secret Garden Oracle. Um, and we're going to use these two decks to get the theme for the week ahead. So I'm just going to shift those out of the way ever so slightly. I do apologize for the glare that's coming through. And we're going to shuffle and we're going to draw a single card from each of these apparently creative wants to come through so i'm going to accept creative i didn't even really give it a, a shuffle but creative jumped out so that's going to be our first keyword for our theme and let's now shuffle from the orange deck or the orange half of the deck to get a single one to go with creative and this is going to be as i said our theme for the theme. so apparently i want that one on top oh, i like it creative wealth very very nice i could get some of wealth and I'm sure we all could. So creative wealth is our key words for the week ahead and let's just see from the secret garden oracle what else wants to come through and all of it together we will look at it, interpret it and get our theme. So secret garden oracle, I'm going to take that one, let's away, turn it over and see what we have. Dare, oh you see, take a risk and fly. Oh I like that, so creative wealth and dare to take a risk and fly for the week ahead. Immediately what I'm getting from this, you know, creative wealth is not about, um, you know, finding creative ways of getting wealth or having wealth or being wealthy, but it's about being creative in our perception, our outlook, and the way that we interpret, understand, and perceive what the word wealth actually means. To me, when I look at this, wealth is not just about money. Yes, we all want money, and yes, it would be lovely to be financially wealthy, but we can have wealth in so many other areas. And I think that's exactly what this particular card is, is wanting us to be mindful of. When we talk about wealth, we're talking about taking a risk with regards to everything else, about being wealthy in love, in happiness, in joy, in abundance, in finances, in all of those kind of things. And I think, you know, with every single one of us, with the way life is at the moment, with the way that we are perceiving or the fear that we have, the fear that we carry within our souls, we're too afraid to take a risk. We're too afraid to take a chance. And that is what is preventing us from enjoying the abundance that the world, that the universe is that it has for us, that is available to us. So as key key phrases and key words for the week ahead, I love this. So I'm going to try and position these. I have to find a way where there's no glare. All right, so we've got, I actually need to swap it around, sorry, forgive me for this, but I want to place it there, and hopefully there is, we'll just stop just short on the, on the glare, right, dare to have creative wealth, dare to be creative in your wealth, dare to be creative in, in experiencing, enjoying, and appreciating the wealth that is available to you. I love that. Right, so the next portion of the video, the next portion of the reading is to look at our spirit animal for the week. So here in front of me I have the um, spirit animal oracle by Colette Baron reed Let's give it a shuffle and let's see if we can draw out a spirit animal for the week ahead that's going to guide us, that's going to hold our hand, that's going to help us navigate the perils of life, um, the, the, the pitfalls and the, the highs and the lows of the week ahead. So which animal, which spirit animal wants to work with us for the week ahead. Let's see, I'm giving the cards just a little bit of a shuffle. I did shuffle before I started recording, but I do like to shuffle while I have you on screen just for transparency, just to make sure that we are setting the right intentions and pulling the cards that are relevant and appropriate. Apparently that's the one that wants to come through. So let's have a look what spirit animal is working with us this week. 
Oh, we've got Stag Spirit. How beautiful is that card? How beautiful is that image? And I'm absolutely loving the key phrase. So it is card number 58, and the key phrase is to take the lead. So Stag Spirit bringing us the phrase of taking the lead, being strong, being brave, and being being <laughs> daring to step out of our comfort zones is immediately what I'm getting from it. Stag Spirit is saying to you, you know, take a risk and fly. Take the lead. Don't wait for people to tell you it's safe, it's secure, you can do that. The Stag Spirit is saying to you, step into your power, step into your authority, take the lead and dare to be creative and finding the wealth that is available to you. The other thing that I'm getting with the stag spirit is, you know, this key phrase of take the lead. Sometimes in life, you don't even realize it, but you are in the lead. Sometimes in life, you know, you haven't made the conscious choice or you haven't made the set the intention to be the leader, to be the one out in the front. But you find yourself in that position. You find yourself suddenly ahead of the pack. Um, and I think this is spirit saying to you for this week. You need to start noticing if that is your situation. And if you're not already in the lead and already driving, you know, circumstances, situations and people, maybe that's the, the place that you need to be. Maybe that's the energy that you need to be adapting, adopting and being this week. Um, because it's it's definitely about you daring. <laughs> I love that. That dare word is just like really drawing me in. Okay. Daring to, to be to be the leader, to be the one that, that, you know, sets the rules, to set the foundations, to climb out of comfort zones, to experience the things that we need, want, and desire. Right now, next we're going to do is, this is from the Crystal Spirits Oracle, also by colleague Baron Reed, and let's see what crystal energy wants to work with us this week, or what crystal energy we should be working with this week. So giving the cards a bit of a shuffle. Actually, let's try doing this. I find it quite difficult when the cards are so big and chunky. Is she and it works out quite nicely. Right, pick them all up, put them back in, and let's see crystal energy for the collective, for all of us for the week ahead. What is the crystal energy that we should be grabbing in, resonating with, working with for the week of the 16th to the 22nd of January 2022? Taking that one over there. Right. Let's have a look and see what crystal energy we have got this week. Oh, look at that. Rose quartz. Now, to me, I, I love, we all know rose quartz. Rose quartz is the crystal of love. It's the crystal of, of um, understanding, of compassion, of healing, of all of those kind of things. It is a beautiful, beautiful, gentle pink energy. Um, crystal quartz here in South Africa is a very, a crystal quartz, listen to me. Rose quartz, let me get the right word. Rose quartz is, is very common here in South Africa, very easy to find. And I'm sure most of you watching right now have a piece or two or three or four of rose quartz lying around in your homes. So it's an easy crystal for us to work with for the week ahead. It is card 48, and I'm suddenly realizing we've got 58 and we've got 48. So eights are, are the, the key phrase or, or the key number. So if you are looking for numbers for the week ahead, I definitely think you can start using, working with, and incorporating number eight into your um, into your your choices for the weekend. You know, and just carrying on a little bit more with the rose quartz. You know, rose quartz it is the crystal of love, unconditional love, universal unconditional love. And I think you know that is something that we're we're that is lacking in our world at the moment. We're all very quick to point out our own um, shortfalls or, or whatever, and those of other people. We're all very critical, and we're all very quick to judge and quick to to comment and and um, you know to say, oh, but you should have done it this, or you should have done it that, or you're this kind and you're that kind. But the truth of the matter is, we need to love ourselves first and foremost, love ourselves, and then love everybody else unconditionally. So Rose Quartz is a beautiful reminder to make love the foundation of everything that you do. And if you lead from a place of love, if you open doors and encourage people to step through into a whole new world, into a whole new way of thinking and reality from a place of love, everything works well. Creative wealth. If we look at creative wealth as our theme for the week, this is Spirit saying to you, the creative wealth, it's about having wealth of love. Wealth of compassion, 
wealth of understanding. And sometimes we have to be brave. Sometimes we have to be daring in expressing, taking, accepting, giving, and feeling unconditional love. I am loving that. Right. I am going to stick it there. Not too much of a glare. So, so far we're doing okay. All right. We have got our theme. We have got our animal totem. We have got our crystal energy for the week ahead. The next thing that we are going to go into um, is using tarot. And this week I am working with Crystal Visions Tarot. I just love this deck. This is a trimmed version of the deck. So if you are familiar with it and mine looks different, it's because I've removed the white borders. <laughs> and what we're going to do now with this Crystal Visions Tarot is I want to look at weekly energy per element. So we're looking at fire, earth, air, and water signs. So looking at your individual zodiacs, and we're going to see what is the energy for each one of you for the week ahead. So we're going to start off um, drawing cards for fire, for fire, for fire energy, for fire signs, which is our Aries, our Leo, and our Sagittarius. We're going to draw cards for earth energy or earth element, which is our Taurus, our Virgo, and our Capricorn. We'll draw then for air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And then finally, water signs being our Scorpios, our Cancerians, and our Pisces. Okay. Crystal, Crystal Visions Tarot. Let's give it just one little shuffle here. And let's start drawing. I'm going to draw two cards for each of the elements. So it'll be eight cards in total. Um, and then we will interpret for the signs. Right, let's just cut the deck over there. So we're going to do two cards for our fire signs, two cards for our earth signs, two cards for our air signs, and two cards for our water signs. Let's see what is the energy of the week ahead for each one of these. I actually think I want to try and make a little bit more space, just so that it's not too cluttered and too messy and too difficult to see. Fire signs for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week ahead. The two cards that we have got for you is the Three of Wands and the Hanged Man. The Three of Wands is a very interesting um, card. I love the Three of Wands, and it always surprises me as to how often it actually comes up, how often it actually shows itself. So here we have a person sitting, looking into a crystal ball that is giving off the most beautiful energy, the most beautiful um, light. And you can see that there's this pathway, and it's a long uphill, slow, gradual uphill battle. And it's about making, you know, waiting for the right time, waiting for the opportunity. You can see by the lighting in the background that it's either early morning or it's late afternoon. She has got her lion with her, and she's got her dragon with her. These candles to light the way. But it's about waiting for that moment, knowing what you need to do, but waiting for that right moment. So for all my fire signs out there, for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, the Three of Wands are saying, you know what you need to do this week. You know exactly. It's all planned out, mapped out, ready. It's just about waiting for that perfect time. But the interesting thing that comes along with this for my fire signs is this Hanged Man card. Because the Hanged Man card is about being patient, is about being about waiting, but it's also about getting a different perspective. So it's about what we've got with these two. Let's just try and hold them I don't want to, to mix up all my others, but let's just do that so that you can see them clearly. So the three of wands is saying, you know what needs to do? It's just about waiting for the right time. The hanged man is saying to you, while you're waiting, while you are retreating, while, you, while you're hanging about waiting for this right moment, it's about just understanding things from a slightly different perspective. It's about getting a different angle on the thought processes, on the emotions, on everything that's going on around you. So fire signs this week, patience is the key word. Patience, waiting for that right moment and not rushing into anything. Even though we are daring to be creative and to attract wealth to us, leading and doing everything that we need to from a place of unconditional love. This is telling you, for all my fire signs, it's about being patient with yourself, about waiting for that right moment and not being super eager to get things going too quickly when it's maybe not the right time to be doing so. Right, I'm going to leave my, my fire signs over there. And now we're going to have a look at our earth signs. So earth signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. What is in store for you this week? What is the energy of the week ahead for you? 
the first card we have is the four of pentacles and if we look at this four of pentacles you can see how he's climbed a tree and he's holding on to he's struggling but he's holding on to the things that are most important to him it's almost like i'm not letting go i'm not letting go and even though he is so uncomfortable wrapped around this tree trunk you know and and trying to hold on to everything if something falls he's going to lose it all he's going to fall out of the tree possibly injure himself but it's about finding that balance about how much to hold on to something and how much to let go because we need to hold on but we also need to let go but it's choosing what it is you need to hold on and what it is you need to let go of the second card that we have for my earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn is the ten of pentacles and isn't it how amazing how they're both sitting in a tree how they both connected up off the ground um up in the tree and the ten of pentacles i mean i love that little wolf that she's got not so little but the ten of pentacles and, and we've also got the stag in the corner there as well but the ten of pentacles is the card of abundance it's the card of wealth it's the card of recognizing that you have everything that your heart desires and so much more and it's about appreciating valuing and appreciating that which you have and that which you have attracted and drawn into your world so earth energy earth signs spirit is saying to you for this week it's about taking stock of what you have and appreciating what you have it's not about grabbing accumulating and holding on to it's just about taking stock and having the appreciation understanding the value and being content with that which you already have in this world um i do want to say to you it's not about starting anything new okay so so again earth energies it's not about new beginnings it's not about you know getting new plans going or anything like that it's about staying consistent in what you already have and sticking with your current path but just holding on finding that balance between holding on and letting go and also acknowledging the abundance that you do have available to you so i think that's a lovely week ahead for you now let's have a look at air signs so air signs we're looking at gemini libra and aquarius let's see what the week ahead has in store for you first card we have is the knight of cups i love the knight of cups out of all the knights he's my favorite purely because he shows love he shows affection he's all about those big bold moves those big bold actions and he's not afraid to express himself he's not afraid to 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 say his feelings to express his feelings i love how this little horse unicorn is just glowing in the light and almost like it's shining the way showing the way that he's going through he is walking through very calm waters water is a reflection of emotion so it looks like for my air signs it's going to be an emotional week in a positive sense and it's going to be a week of expressing yourself and speaking about the emotions and the love that you have so that ties in so beautifully with the rose quartz crystal doesn't it let's see what else we've got oh look at that she's sitting on top of the world the common thread here for you guys for my air signs by the way is the the water lilies okay the lotus flower the water lilies that which has grown through the mud and you know struggles and finds it so difficult until such time as they piss through the water and then they reveal their true beauty so what we've got for you here air signs gemini libra and aquarius express yourself be vulnerable be open you know tell people that you you know around you how much you love and adore them how important they are how significant they are and how much you adore them and recognize again how successful you are in all that you have accomplished all that you have experienced and all that you are but it is also about recognizing the significance of you so i like that i like that actually because the world is about completion and attainment and achievement but the world is also a reminder to you that you've come full circle and now it's time to go again so it's about cycles of life it's about recognizing where you've come how far you've come and all that you've achieved expressing yourself and and letting people know how much you love and adore them how much you love and appreciate them and then recognizing that we've still got another whole cycle to go through so this is really really interesting you have succeeded and achieved in so much you are in such a good place all my air signs as long as you're able to express your vulnerability your love your feelings your emotions and recognize that you do have so much to be grateful for, so much to to celebrate in life good putting those over there and let's now look at our water signs so energy for the week ahead for our water signs we're looking at cancer scorpio and pisces first card we have oh my gosh i know everybody 
get so scared when they see the death card. But actually, death is something that happens to us all the time. Death is not dying. It is change. It is shifting and moving from one frame of reference to another. You know, when you, and I'm just thinking a lot of, uh, a lot of um, students will be going back to school this week or, or starting school this week, and that is the death of the holiday. <laughs> holiday period is no more. Now it's back to work. It's back to school. It's back to routine and structure. Something has to stop in order for something else to start. So for all my water signs, this is spirit saying to you, be ready for change this week. Be ready to let go of certain parts of yourself that are no longer relevant and valid to allow and to make way for new aspects, for new parts of yourself. The second card we have, oh, I love that. I love that. You know what? The, this is spirit just softening and just giving you validation and giving you a little bit of hope because the star card is the card of hope. It is the card of healing. It's the card of renewal. It's the card of rejuvenation. And it's the card that says to you, you know, we must never give up hope. We must never lose sight of that which is truly important and significant in our lives. So for all my water signs, actually, let's do it like that. For all my water signs, don't focus on that which you have to let go of. Don't focus on the things that aren't truly relevant and important anymore. Let them go. You know, if you've if you've done um, any New Year's resolutions, just as an example, you know, it's about letting go of old parts of yourself, old habits, old systems and old processes. Let them go in order to allow positive change to come about. This is Spirit saying to you, it's going to be okay. You're going to have success. You're going to have happiness. You're going to have everything that you desire if you are able to let go of the past. Let go of those parts of yourself that are no longer relevant and appropriate. Right, so there we have energies for the week ahead for each of our elements. I'm going to leave the cards. I know it's awfully messy. Let's try and tidy them up a little bit just so that um, we've got a little bit of space to still look at some other cards. All right, what I want to do at this point is I am going to do our Q&A with Spirit as we have done um, last week and so on. I want to do a Q&A with Spirit. I am going to be using my little questions deck that I have. Um, I never remember the name of this deck. It is one that I purchased on Etsy. Um, so we're going to use the, the questions deck. I'm going to shuffle. We're going to draw a single question and this will be the question that we want an answer to, that we need to focus on or that we need to work through a little bit and then we're going to use a different tarot deck to get an answer. So let's just shuffle the questions deck and let's just ask what is it that we all need to know? What is something to help us grow spiritually, emotionally, mentally? What is something that we need to be working through or working on? What is a question that we all need to be spending a little bit of time with this week? So Q&A with Spirit, what is the question appropriate? Right, we have a question. And the question is, what am I being called to embrace or step into? I like that. What am I being called to embrace or step into? So actually for the collective, for each one of us, we're going to change the sentence to say, what are we being called to embrace or step into. And I am going to stick it over there. I think it's in camera. We can see it. <laughs> and to answer our Q&A, I am going to use my little Buddha tarot again. I love my little Buddha tarot and I love just getting a little bit of guidance, a little bit of answers from the Buddha. So I am going to give it a little shuffle. Hopefully I don't destroy all the other cards on the table. So I'm going to try and keep it to the bottom of the camera. Let's just uh, shuffle the little Buddha tarot. I'm just going to do a little shuffle and let's see what are we being called to embrace or step into this week. What are we being called to embrace or step into this week? Oh, little Buddha tarot doesn't want to go back together. What are we being called to embrace or step into? Little Buddha tarot, what do you have for us? And I'm going to cut the deck over there and take that one off the top. Let's have a look. Little Buddha Tarot, what are we being called to embrace or step into? It's the hanged man. You know, we've had the hanged man come through over there when we were looking at our fire signs. But the hanged man, you know, he hasn't been put into this position by somebody else. He has put himself into this position on purpose. He's hanging upside down. He's in no way suffering then no, he's not in a precarious kind of difficult situation. He has voluntarily put himself in this position 
to almost get a different perspective on life. Um, you know, he's just saying, instead of always looking at things in the same way, what happens if I look at it differently? What happens if I take a different viewpoint on my circumstance and on my situation? And in answer to our question of what are we being called to embrace or step into, little Buddha Rattara is saying, we need to look at everything differently. We need to look at our lives, our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings. We need to look at everything differently. We cannot continue through life looking at things in the normal way, in the usual way, because everything has shifted. Everything is different. And I think the fact that we have the stag energy um, that's come through as our theme for the week, this is Spirit saying to you, be the leader. Instead of waiting for somebody else to do it, instead of waiting for somebody else to say, hey, why don't we try something different? Take the lead. Take the lead and start showing your family, your friends, your work colleagues, you know, the people that you engage with and interact with on a regular basis. Be the leader and show everybody how everything is shifting, everything is different, and we're coming from a place of love. We are no longer coming from a place of power or status, or ego. Let's shift our whole dynamic. So what are we being called to embrace or step into? Love, leadership, creativity, daring to take control of our circumstances, and to create wealth, not just financially, but in all different areas. It's time for us to embrace different. Everything is different. Life is different. Circumstances. Everything is working from a different energy point. And we need to embrace this. We need to step into this. We need to allow this because that's what's coming through for us. And it looks like this week, for each of my elements, for all of us really, there is definitely this kind of, I'm going to call it movement and push towards different, towards just experiencing life in a completely different mindset. And everything comes from this place of love. We need to do everything from a place of love, unconditional love. We need to start understanding wealth differently. Wealth is not just about the money. Wealth is about emotions. It's about feelings. It's about our, our dreams and our ambitions and our goals that we set for ourselves. The things that we wish to achieve that are not specifically money, but all sorts of other things. We have to take that leap of faith. Okay, we have to take that risk. We have to step outside of our comfort zone, which is why we got the cards that we got here for the week ahead. And if we could start looking at everything differently, we would start feeling different. We would be taking the lead and other people will follow. And if we can get everybody to switch to the other side of life, which is love, can you imagine how much better this world would be? Can you imagine how beautiful everything will be? So friends, what are we all being called to embrace or step into this week? Unconditional love, looking at ourselves and others and situations and circumstances in a different way, in a different light. We need to be understanding what does wealth truly mean. We need to get creative in understanding wealth. We need to take the lead deep. We need to take the lead. We need to take risks and fly and we need to do everything from a place of unconditional love. So friends, I do hope that you have an amazing week ahead. I do hope that everything works out beautifully for you. I do hope that you find the love, the happiness, the wealth and the abundance that you deserve. And until we connect again with love and blessings from my heart to yours, take care.